morning, everybody, and welcome to Anvia and Pinder Private Game Reserve. My name's Matt. Behind the camera, we've got Craig. And this morning, we've come across quite a big herd of zebra that you've just seen in picture. And behind me, who've already crossed this road in front of us, are, again, another big herd of villas and impala. All tucked away in, in that little bit of a drainage line behind the zebra that we, we're now viewing. For the for the evening <clears throat> but as it starts to warm up they're venturing out to to graze and you can see they've all got their heads down busy grazing at the moment a lot of the grass probably has a little bit of dew on it this morning a little getting a little bit of moisture in but they're yeah not very close to any real watering hole there's a youngster just left of that dead tree in picture that was busy suckling from from mom now as well but yeah, now that the sun's come up, it's it's warming up significantly. It's quite a drive to, to get out to where we are this morning, and it's it was a chilly start, so we're also just enjoying the first little bit of sun. But a stunning setting if we look up onto the hillside, a couple of trees that are being backlit from the sun this morning. And quite a, yeah, just a, a peaceful setting here. Impala and Vildebeus are moving further off into the distance. We also are hoping that we'd come across a couple more rhino out in this area, maybe even a herd of buffalo. We found some signs of quite a large herd of buffalo. I think you were with Trish and a, a giraffe earlier, and now some zebra. Again, we wonder about that band name, but also something that you could expect to see out here, or we could expect to see, is some giraffe. And all of these animals together just for for safety but no real concerns this morning on that one just behind mom you see an ox picker red bull ox picker but almost that little bit of a gingery mane on that youngster that you've got in picture there now with its its head down it's disappearing now that i've said that No real wind as of yet. We're starting to come into almost spring on the 1st of September. But now wind's starting to die down. August is usually typically quite a windy month, but a little bit of a breeze is coming onto our backs, all feeding into the wind again, so they can smell predators. We actually came straight back to that spot where we left those three young male lions yesterday, but they had disappeared. We'll keep a lookout for them as well. We're not too far from that area and see if anything helps us find them. And a, a big herd of animals like this, the impala, wildebeest, and zebra can all help us find predators like lions. Even cheetah out here, it's been a while since we found that mom with her two little youngsters. So we'll definitely keep a lookout for them this morning. You can hear all the birds in the background starting to, to come alive this morning. I have a feeling it's going to be a beautiful day, nice warm day. Can you hear that very scratchy call of the ox picker as well now in front of us? 